Big Little Lies is a blend of an interesting storyline, amazing actors, perfect music, and more importantly for me, astonishing residences. However, it's not just me who gets amazed by those beautiful mansions. Too many viewers confess the stunning homes and decor are a big part of the appeal to watch the show, even New Yorker TV critic. Emily Nussbaum joked about it on Twitter. Big Little Lies is a revenge-level beachfront property porn. Welcome to Farhan Interior. This is Atefe. In this video, we are going to talk about interesting facts plus eye-catching elements in Celeste's house from the popular show Big Little Lies. First, let's have a little bit of background. The show is based on a novel with the same title. The novel takes place in Australia, but the series set is in Monterey, California. The show is about connected families, mostly wealthy ones, who live in a picturesque county in California. The producers selected this particular location not only because it's undoubtedly beautiful, but also because of its wonderfully mixed demographics since the families on the show have varied socioeconomic status and could all believably live there together. Of course, that type of lifestyle bring some excellent houses and interiors on set. In reality, many of the houses are located in Southern California, not Monterey, where the show is actually set. However, Celeste House is the only one that actually placed in Monterey. It goes without saying that in every show the designers and decorators before doing the set take the characters of the show into consideration. Big Little Lies was not an exception. The house has specific view with large windows and open concept space which is rooted in the mid-century modern part of this combination. I'm not gonna spoil the show, but the beach house that Celeste and her family live in totally represents her and his husband's characteristic, their relationship and their marriage. For example, Celeste's house is filled with unique, expensive, highly curated pieces reflecting her husband's Paris controlling nature and high expectations. Now let's dive into the house, the interior style of the house. If you wonder what is the interior style of Celeste's house, I have to say generally it's eclectic, with a combination of a little bit Scandinavian, some kind of bohemian, a bit of mid-century modern, and also coastal. Looking more specifically, there is also another term for a combination of these four styles together, which is called California Cool. Basically, the characterization of California cool is the rustic vibe of coastal houses, the free spirits of Bohemian with an emphasis on organic elements and nature, minimalism and cozy feel of Scandinavian, and clean line, neat finishes and functionality of mid-century modern. It is interesting to know that the bedroom, bathroom, and wardrobe of that house are not in the actual house in Monterey, and they were built in the studio. However, I believe the bedroom authentically follows the style of the house. So in this video, our main focus is on the living room, terrace, and bedroom. Colors. Before the show, the color of the walls in that house originally was all white. The designers of the show repainted some of the walls in a grayish blue color. This coloring also can be seen in many pieces of furniture and decorations in Celeste House. There are other colors in the living room as well like gray sofas plus wooden side tables and a high back grayish blue chair. On the terrace, we can see that grayish blue color in the form of cushions plus wood color and some neutral tones. Generally, we can say the color palette echoes the coastline beyond the windows, which contains turquoise, azure, grayish blue, and gray, plus greenery, which is available both in the living room and trays in form of plants. In the bedroom, the same colors can be seen, plus a kind of muted orange in the form of rug and bedding, which bring life to the room. With the color palette explained, you can see we have colors from all those four interior styles, coastal, mid-century modern, bohemian, and scandy, and what a great combination. It is interesting to know that after filming a show, the real owners keep the grayish blue walls as they thought this coloring is better than all white. Furniture. 
In Celeste's house, among everything else, we can see interesting furniture as well. I especially like the chairs around the dining table on the terrace. The shape of the furniture is mostly straightish, and some of them follow the mid-century modern style. Of course, in the living room, there is a sculpture, wicker chair, but that is it. Since too much organic shaped furniture might turn the style from California cool to bohemian. Also, there is another excellent choice of furniture in the bedroom, which is an oversized wooden platform bed. Since there is a TV and two seats in that bedroom, I believe this wooden platform makes some kind of a sleep zone in that space. Plus, the combination of the bed, mattress, and platform in three levels is really eye-catching. Materials and Patterns Celeste House is a combination of natural and man-made materials. The presence of wooden surfaces, linen fiber, glass and metal at the same time with reflective mirrors, wicker chairs and baskets are noticeable. In terms of patterns, maybe you won't see them anywhere at first, but after a while they can be seen on rugs and cushions, which I believe is the perfect combination with the neat and plain finishes, and they give the space some kind of balance. Accessories and artwork. You might think who needs artwork with huge windows exhibiting amazing views. Well, Celeste did. There are abstract art in navy and white in both bedroom and the living room, which work as a focal point for those spaces, and they are totally going with the tone and the color palette of the house. Moreover, they kind of serve the purpose of the story. In the case of accessories, there are cushions, table lamps, plants, and vases. But for me, the Jonathan Adler chandelier in the dining room is a real eye-catcher, both in terms of the shape and the fact that there is only one pendant light in the whole space. Additionally, large mirrors that are not built in and have metal or wooden frames are present in almost every room of this beautiful home. This one is an interesting choice as well, since they can be truly functional, they brighten up the space and add another layer to the decoration. Moreover, they are portable and can be easily displaced. That's it about this beautiful house. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section.